Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. In this tutorial, we're going to create a, a family for our project. To create a family, go to the family section and click the new button. This bring the new family select template dialog box. If you are not in this folder, for example, if you see a folder like this one, select, double click the English I and select the baluster post template and click open. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button. Navigate to the folder where you save your file for this project and rename this file to 00 underscore 028 underscore DIAB underscore I and click the save button. Go to the project browser and double and click the plus sign next to view. Click the plus sign next to floor and double click the ref level. Click the zoom extent command. Have your mouse cursor into the midpoint of this two reference plane and scroll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in. Right click the reference plane and grid similar. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line button. Change the offset distance to 6 inches for the moment and move the mouse cursor into this drawing area. Offset this line up. Zoom out to see the new offset object. Offset this reference plane down and offset the vertical reference plane to the left and offset it to the right. Click the modify button. Now go to the modify tab mention panel and select the align dimension command. Zoom out to see the entire reference planes click on this reference plane this reference plane and this plane click to place the dimension zoom out click the eq box into equally space the reference plane click this reference plane this reference plane this reference plane move out and click to place the dimension click the eq button reference this plane to this plane move down and place the dimension Reference this plane to this plane, move and place the dimension, click the modify button, select this dimension and click the create parameter command, name this parameter to width and in the group parameter click the down arrow and select dimension, click ok, select this dimension and select the grid parameter button. Rename this parameter to depth. Group this parameter under the dimension and click OK. Go to the grid tab and select the extrude command. In the draw panel, click the rectangle option. Zoom in into this area and start the, the sketch line from this corner to this corner. Click all the four padlock to constrain this sketch line into the reference plane. Click the green check mark. Go to the view access toolbar and click the default 3D view to see the result. Zoom out. Now go to the property panel and click the family type command. Move this dialog box to the left and change the depth to change the depth to 3 inches. Click apply. Change the width to change the width to inch and a half. Click apply. Click OK. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button. Click the close hidden window and click the close button to close the family editor. Alright, we need to create one more custom family. We're going to do that in the next exercise. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.